Hello, welcome back to the channel. We've got another review uh, today. This is going to be um, a fairly new kit. Uh, it's only been released in the last year or two, I believe. Um, although I haven't checked up on my scale mates this morning. Um, we are, of course, going to be looking at um, this Bell Kits uh, Fabia S2000 Evo. Um, this was, uh, I believe this was either a birthday gift or a Christmas gift. It was a birthday gift from my old friend. Um, um, so I'm just going to take you through this. And uh, ooh, get the lid off. Oh, well, we didn't look at the box. I did we? I'm all of it, all of it is this morning. Uh, didn't sleep very well, so <laughs> brain's a bit all over the place. Uh, so we've got a nice depiction of the Fabia, the Skoda Fabia on the box um, with like a carbon weave type back background. Um, got some information on the side. No, just information about the kit really. Some information there. Uh, not really. Um, there we go, just so it's pretty plain stuff with a little picture on the side, but uh, there we go. So we'll take this uh, off. Ooh. And then we're going to put it all in the lid so that they can then move it back into the bottom if that makes sense so let me just pop that down uh, pop that on there we will start with just remove the camera a little bit make sure it's uh Let's start with the body, which comes in this sturdy cardboard box, so it's not flimsy, it's not going to get damaged. And uh, there we go, lots of um, lots of holes and placement points in it, which uh, in itself is... Uh, mostly kits don't come with this many holes pre-drilled, they'll have little indentations or something. But this has got a whole load already done. Um, I like that because it means you get a solid, uh, you get a solid click into place, uh, or you know, positioning is is accurate. Um, so um, we've got, uh, you can see the riveting detail on the uh, sills underneath there. Um, nice panel lining. Uh, we've got some detail going on there on the front rim. It's going to be a bit of a. Let me try the other. Might be a bit of a pig because it's white. There we go. And then we can probably see that. Uh, show you that detail on the. On the bottom there. So there's not a lot really. It's a, got a little bit of dirt on it, so um, that would suggest that it probably needs um, maybe needs a wipe down or a quick rinse in some uh, detergent. Um, apologies for the dog upstairs. Uh, I've been left alone, and uh, oh. We're going to have to pause a second. Uh, we've got to pause. So we've got the uh, panel lines um, look okay. There's no sharp edges, no burrs, no, nothing there that I can see. Um, everything looks okay, really. Just needs a bit of a wash. Um, and everything's good to go. Uh, it's quite a nice looking, 
quite a nice looking body really hot hatch uh, got a bit of scuff into the roof I'm not sure where that's from maybe from I don't know but uh, yeah it definitely needs a clean must have some residue or something on it back in the box um, and we've got uh, a clear piece um, I don't really want to open that not at the moment anyway I haven't washed my hands properly to so um, I can tell that uh, let's have a look through here it's clear it's, uh, it's nice and clear there doesn't appear to be any scratches or anything on it it's a single piece so it's windscreen roof and rear screen um, so you can you know glue this section down I guess uh, quite easily uh, yeah so that's, that's uh, good enough and we come to one of my favorites as everyone knows the decals and that is a fantastic decal sheet can we zoom in on that at all um, let me just see That's as far as it will go yeah that's as far as it will go but um, that is oh, you've got this metallic green colour that does look rather nice I don't know if you can see that that's, that's like a metallic green um, I really do love decal sheets when they're all intact like that. I could have, have a collection of them alone and I'd be happy looking through them. Um, yep, so uh, I think these are cartograph. Uh, no, no, they're not cartograph. I don't know, to be honest. I really don't know. Um, they look nice anyway. They look uh, good. They've got a, a matte finish to them. Not too, you know, not too matte. There's a very, very light sheen on some of them. Um, but they look very nice, I've got to say. And I enjoy putting these on, so I'm going to look forward to this one. Oh, i just got to get that. So, yes, we have some uh, fantastic decals um, there. Um, they're all in register. You can see all the writing. And uh, as I say, I'm going to really enjoy doing those. <clears throat> Next up we have, I believe this stuff is used for the belts. And this uh, may be the mirrors or something like that. And I don't know what this, this is a mask of some sort in here maybe window masks uh, not entirely sure but uh, yeah that's belt safety belt sort of material so that's a uh, nice um, you got the mask you can't barely see I'm not taking them out of the packet because they'll get lost scrunched up or bent or something then we've got a couple of bits of photo etch let me try and separate them so you can so you can see them in the bag. I don't want to take these out either. Photo which bends ever so easy, depending on how thick, what gauge they've used to. Uh, but generally, the stuff I've found has been. I'm trying to get it exactly flat in that corner because I can't stand things being wonky there we go so um, there we've got uh, 
Is it going to focus in? There we go. So we've got them. And then over there, we've got a couple of grills, is it? Vents. A couple of vents, a couple of grills. There we go. So a little bit of photo etch to go on. Lovely. Then we've got the <coughs> instruction manual. Um, and this is done in the form of like a, a book -a zine uh, except there's it's, it's a booklet we'll say it's a booklet there's 14 pages in it um, it's on like a matte paper uh, not the really cheap paper stuff um, but not the really thick stuff either if that makes any sense now uh, one thing I did note the instructions are slightly different to kits I've come across in the past in the past it's been one two three four five six you know and there's been a single step uh, on each number whereas here we've got like um, so this is this step here is for the asphalt version for gravel trans kit but no no it's saying for the asphalt furs and you've got to skip to page 13 which is rather bizarre uh, if we just have a quick look what's on page 13 11 12 13 yeah so and um, there's a different uh, setup there apparently yep yeah. so um, yeah you've got all that which is the is that the front or rear that's the rear suspension and then we've got uh, this section here, which is uh, front and rear, front and rear. So that's how they've done it: front and rear, front and rear. So it's like that. Um, and again, it's just generally all round. And then you've got the, the steering wheel slotted in here. There's a little bit of detail going on there. It's much more detailed in, on the interior than um, any other kit I've seen. Um, there's a lot more going on with all these bits and pieces. Uh, collapsible steering wheel by the looks of it there. And you're actually building a proper s system in there. Instead of just having the, the steering wheel um, pushing onto the dashboard, you're actually m making a proper... Um, you can see that you're making a proper uh, collapsible wheel there so very good very good indeed um, roll cages going in roof going on uh, side skirts um, bish bosh bash yeah, we've gone from yep yeah, yeah so door cards paraphernalia on the outside handles mirrors um, photo etch boot uh, surround for the exhaust and then we come over and then we finally got some grills going in and bits and pieces there so you know it's um, not as easy to follow as other uh, say Tamiya books or Revel maybe um, then on the positive side they've got uh, I like I much more like their approach to the decalin they've got a photo of the real car there um, or the model I don't know whether that's the model or the car um, and uh, so yeah you can see straight away where all your decals go you can see your color in there um, what's going on the roof and then oh and then so then we've got uh, these must be the the bits um that are different from the rest of the book so these trans kits and things like that i'm guessing this is you know you'd come along to the back piece to to do that um now then i was told another bell kits that the um decals were a bit problematic uh I'm not exactly sure whether I'll have the same trouble, um, but uh, you know I shall bear it in mind and see how we get on. Then we come to wheels. Um, I'm not going to open these. 
because uh, they tend to fall out everywhere. So there's no seam line on these. There is an awesome tread. And if you watch one of my earlier videos, you'll remember me saying about uh, tread uh, t tire treads and how um, I, you know, when they're done nice, they look really good. Uh, there you go. There's a tire tread. Now, isn't that better than just seeing a single seam line going round? And, um, I mean, you can see where the seam line was, um, but it's uh, it's been very cleverly hid. Very cleverly hid. And now uh, you've got one, two, three, four, and two spares. Um, yes, very nice. Very well done. Um, they'll look nice on. Then we've got uh, some more clear parts. Again, um, because I don't want to damage them, I'm not taking them out. Sorry to be such a pain. Um, but I can tell you they're clear. There's no problems with... Uh, can't see any scuff or anything I won't know for certain until they come out um, but uh, I'm certainly happy enough with them as they are I don't know if you can let me turn the light off and see whether that better see so you can see you can see they're clear There we go. And we got the headlamps. Headlamps are there. Excellent. Brilliant. So we come to the door cards. And uh, so we've got lots of, uh, there's the foot pedals. <laughs> Door cards, uh, that's one of the parts, one of the part of the parcel shelf possibly, I don't know. There we go, plenty of information there. Uh, nothing on the back side really, we've got a bit of a spot spoiler one of the tiny spoilers I think there and um, there it is yeah and not exactly sure I think this is the rear bumper and sort of uh, I think that's what that is but um, then we got the window wipers there didn't see them window wipers Obviously, they're going to be black. Um, just trying to look through, see if I have a fire extinguisher. Um, don't recognise anything else there at the moment. So, no. We'll pop that one back. Then we've got the um, the base. Uh, so we've got the tub. This is going to be, and look at all them uh, location holes. Now, if you get a similar kit from another company, I can tell you it hasn't got all these location holes like this. Um, without a doubt. Uh, apologies for the phone ringing. It's not... So... There we go. Let me turn that off again because we seem to get a better... And then on this side, we've got... Uh... This is just the base, so the tub sits on the base like that. And I'm not sure which is front and which is back at this. I think this is the back. 
Uh, this is the front, and then the tub will swivel around and sit somewhere on there. Um, again, this has got a load of location holes, which uh, doesn't normally happen. But uh, yeah, very good. Uh, no real detail on the underside of that. You can just a little bit. Not a great deal though. It's the problem with uh, a lot of the cars. It's the same as you do all the detail on the inside and then you put the top on and you can no longer see you can no longer see what's inside um, so these are the seats a little bit of detail on the racing seats let me just uh, yeah, so a little bit of racing seat detail And then the same on there if it's going to show. No. No. Actually, there's no detail on that seat at all, but there's a tiny little bit on this one. How strange. And then the rest of this is um, just the roll cage. Uh, now, I've had, uh, I've had one good roll cage build and one bad roll cage build. So... Um, the good one there's the steering wheel incidentally with its collapsible portion next to it so if i just uh, show you that is it not going to focus there's its collapsible portion next to it no it's just not going to have it is it Oh well. So <clears throat> of course we're redoing this because of the poor audio um which was on the first one. Cat again caught on the exactly the same part I got caught on before. We've got the wheels, so we've got some nice uh, wheels going on there, or they will be. There we go. Come on. And we've got the brakes behind it with their brake calipers. Um, I don't know what colour I will do them yet, but I will do them uh, probably, I don't know, maybe green as the, the rest of the car is green. Uh, I may do them red. Then we've got some steering elements there. More steering elements, uh, suspension springs. Um, let me just look at those because on every set of suspension springs I've had, there's been an awful seam line running down them that uh, I've had to cut away with a knife. Um, and no, they've managed to do it without that. So well done, bell kits. Uh, looks like front and rear bumpers there of some sort. And steering, uh, like a wishbone, is that what that's called? I can't read, you know, I can't remember. It's been so long since I knew anything about cars. Um, but we'll skip that. Uh, 
and finally the last sprue and uh, we've got uh, exhaust there you can see that runs all the way down there um, that'll look nice we we'll do that in a nice aluminium um, we'll probably get some aluminium paint for that and we've got the front grille that's going to look nice um, we've got the top of the engine there by the looks of it to me that looks to be top of an engine uh, there and there we'll just show you to get in there with the detail for you to have a look there and again there um, some little pieces there let me just show you that grill again while I've got it there spotlights they are uh, there's a lot of them there so there's one two three four five six uh, so that's going to be four on the front um, and there we go that's one of the panels that will go underneath and cover all this work you do on the uh, suspension and steering we'll get uh, one of these panels covered over it so nobody will ever see it um, it's so annoying that uh, you do all this work and then it gets covered up. Um, let's see if I've got an example. Yes, I have. Uh, bear with me. I have a, the perfect example of what I'm talking about here. I spent, I've just finished this and I spent quite a bit of time on it. And... Um, there was a lot of because there's no engine in this this is a curbside kit and a lot of that time was on the steering and the suspension because the steering sort of turns on this one um, not much but uh, you know it turns a bit um, but when you flip it over you can't see where it is because it's all been covered in it's, uh, and it's the same with every kit you do like that nowadays for some reason. Another example is uh, this uh, Dodge Viper. Again, another kit that I spent a lot of time on. Um, you can see a little bit more of that. They didn't uh cover it all over on this one other kits they tend to put a flat plate in around here so that it uh, this normally extends down um but uh, this is a dodge viper by revel and this was actually a very very good kit i don't care what people say about revel um they make some really nice kits um let me just show you the engine work in that But, uh, I've done that myself and uh, it's come out really nice I, I really like it I cut the boot the the bonnet had these were filled in uh, so you just had to paint them black and then put a, a decal over them to suggest that they were vents well I spent I think it was like two nights it took me to cut them all out and uh, sand and shape them by file um, to get them to look like real vents the only thing I lacked was some proper material to put in there to give them that vented appearance um, but no this is one of my favorite builds anyway you might as well show you the Porsche now we've done them to you may as well go in and you can see that they've covered it up here um and uh they put a couple of plates in there as well just to but uh yeah i oh, know sorry that's not the porsche that's the mazda the porsche is over there resist the urge to go and get the others now <laughs> all right so anyway i hope you enjoyed that uh, little review on that bell kit uh thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you next time Oh, don't forget, uh, Wednesday nights, 8 o'clock, is my show. Uh, it runs from 8 till 9.30 in the evening, p.m. That's uh, Greenwich Mean Time, UK time. And uh, we've also got 
uh, a Facebook page under the name Spruce Surgeon, which is attached to the show um, and attached to a YouTube account. So it all sort of it's all, all works together. And um, what else was there? Uh, oh yeah, I'm trying to start hangouts um, now. I can't sit around all day and all night waiting for people to join. Um, so what I'm doing in the beginning is, if you're interested in joining a, a, a new hangout, uh, this is nothing to do with anyone else. This is just me. Um, if, if you want to, you know, it's just somewhere to go, have a laugh, uh, meet some new people. Um, and just sit there and build and chat and, and whatever uh, then just drop me a, a, a private message or something and we can get one uh, sorted and, and away and until that time uh, have a good time uh, wherever you are whatever you're doing and uh, I'll see you soon bye for now